Hello, and welcome to Kit's Photography for this time. In this episode, I travel again to Monato Zoo, but this time I get to meet the baby rhinoceros up close. Hello, and welcome to Kit's Photography. I'm Kit from Brennack Photography here in sunny South Australia. Welcome to my channel. Hello, and welcome to the show. So as I said in the introduction, this time I get to go to Bonato Zoo for a photo shoot where I get to meet the baby rhinoceros up close. This was a truly remarkable experience because I actually got to touch it and pat it and it was so adorable with its tiny little horn and it was gambling around having a wonderful time. I also got to meet the mother and also one of the males as well who is just absolutely massive. While I was there, there were only 48 people at the zoo because of the fact that the temperature was so hot. All the walking paths were closed because of fire risk and basically it was just a very very hot day. But I still got to do my amazing shoot and while I was there I travelled around and looked at some other animals as well. I've had some feedback from some viewers who've written to me to say they don't know how to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Now this is something which obviously is a bit of a problem for me, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this tutorial in right here. You can click on this and you'll be able to see how to subscribe. So without further ado, let's go and look at Monato Zoo again and some amazing animals. So I'm at Monato Zoo again today and there's not a lot of people here because it is so hot. It's 37 degrees Celsius and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I, you'll see on today's episode that I'll be going to have a look at the baby rhino which is really exciting but looking at other animals as well throughout the day. So I started the day 9.30 in the morning with the rhino calf experience. This is where you actually get to meet and actually get to touch the baby rhino. It's really good, it's $45 to do, plus your zoo entry, but if you are a member, then it's just the cost of visiting. The rhino is so active and so much fun, really lovely, and so soft, which is quite remarkable. They do have really thick skin, however, they do have some soft points as well. Now you have to wait till the end to see some extra special footage of the rhino which was something that was captured that is absolutely wonderful. But you'll have to stick around till the very end for that. It really was a pleasure to be able to get so close to these massive majestic animals. You can really see why they're called white rhino, as in because of their wide mouth and the mistranslation from Afrikaans. And yes, that's my hand touching it just there.
These are some of the photographs I took on the day. Now here comes the big male. He is absolutely huge with his enormous horns. I reckon his horns weigh around 200 kilograms, which is just incredibly heavy. He is one big animal. Now you've got to see the baby rhinoceros up close, let's go and see some other animals. The chimpanzees here are as adorable as ever, the two tiny babies playing together. It was extremely hot so they weren't actually allowed outside into their usual habitat. But I took this photograph last Sunday. If you look closely, you can see that they're actually eating ice blocks. This helps to keep them cool. You get to see the lions now, which was a really interesting time because there was basically no one at the zoo, except for camera crews and a couple of tourists. And so you'll see in this video is actually a television crew filming the lions at the same time as I am. It was such a hot day and there were very few people there, a total of 48 in fact, which meant that I had a free reign to go around and photograph, which was great, but there were also other camera crews too. Now these lions were having a great time, they can deal with the heat quite well, but they got a lot of free food. This cage is designed for the Line 360 experience, where they literally come and climb all around you. Very exciting indeed. One day, I will do this. These cubs have definitely grown a lot since I last photographed them. These big cats are loving relaxing in the shade.
giraffes were having a great time browsing for their trees. And if you look closely, you will see a baby giraffe, which, when this was filmed, was only a couple of days old. Here you have the baby giraffe asleep in the sun. One of my favourites now, Tasmanian Devils. I know I've shown them to you before, but this. These little guys are always great to photograph. Now some cheeky emus with their brood. Now we come to the American bison and there is a new bison calf. If you look really closely, there you can see it behind its mother. But the best photograph I could get was just a little tiny patch in the grass. As you can see there, just a little bit of brown. Now they reckon these animals are a different colour so that they can actually see the young ones in the herd so they don't trample them. Now we're on to the Kowalski horses. and some deer.
now we come to my favourite animal, the cheetah. I got some great photographs of the cheetahs while I was there. Very, very, very much happenstance. They just were in a perfect spot and I was in the perfect spot to capture them. Now we come to the special extra for those people who've hung around to the end of the video. This is the baby rhinoceros and its mother wallowing in the mud and racing around, chasing each other. It's absolutely beautiful and completely made my day.
Rhinoceroses can run 60 kilometers per hour, which is absolutely ridiculous. And this little one has so much energy. Look at the joy of being able to run around in such safe space. Obviously in the wild, these rhinoceroses are hunted nearly to extinction. Three every single day get shot, which is just unbelievably terrible. But these ones get to be safe, and sound and absolutely love playing chasey with each other. Well, thanks for watching this extended episode of Kids Photography. I know it's been a long one. Thanks for sticking through. I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Get out of my